सो देर इज लाइक अ वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव रिसीव्ड इन द पास्ट वन ईयर सिंस आई हैव बिन यू नो मेंटरिंग टू नीट पी जी एन आई एन आई सी टी दैट मैम आई हैव बिन रीडिंग कंटिन्यूसली आई हैव रीड एवरी पॉसिबल यू नो सेट ऑफ नोट्स फॉर अ सर्टन टॉपिक आई हैव रीड मेन नोट्स डी टी आर रैपिड रिविजन एनी थिंग यू नेम इट आई हैव रीड बट वाई एम आई स्टिल नॉट गेटिंग द रिजल्ट आई प्रोबेबली शुड what do you think the answer to this question is it is maybe because you are not applying what you know properly it is probably because you have not attempted questions properly you have not given sufficient number of gts you have not built an exam giving a uh, technique you have not built a question solving approach for that gts are the most important thing Hello everyone this is Dr Pratha Gupta I have done my MBBS from Lady Harding Medical College New Delhi I secured a rank of 500 in NEET PG and a rank of 500 in Ford and INICT May both of these exams are my first attempt currently I am a first year dermatology resident in UCMS and Guru Tej Bahadur Hospital New Delhi and like you you know I was also very confused should I read main note should I give GT should I you know how to possibly cover each and every subject from me notes alongside juggling with endless duties but then i realized who is going to ask me in the paper have you read genong well have you read gaitan well nobody is going to test that people just expect me to answer the most appropriate correct option for that i need to understand how to read a question properly first then i need to understand what is being expected out of me in this question and thirdly I need to understand how to manage time properly so that I can attempt the paper in the best way possible. So that GTs are the only solution. I feel uh, you know before INICT uh, like 30 days before INICT my internship ended and I was just on a basic level correct of 140 questions and uh, exam was just very near I was very apprehensive. I thought Although I'm going through my notes so diligently, but you know why is my score not going up? Then I realized it is maybe because I am not able to read the question properly. I am not able to analyze what is being asked properly. And then I decided I will give more and more GTs. And then I decided to give GT at a frequency of five to seven days. And you won't believe me. In like fifteen twenty days, I was at one sixty correct before I and I. so uh, you know that was the time i realized that the game changes when you attempt more and more questions the game changes when you understand how to give a gt how to review a gt properly and then you know take away the gist of the gt with you take away what is wrong and then make it right because that is the only way possible anybody ever improves so here in the last final run of 30 days for neat pg at cerebellum we are constructing two gts one is a relatively hard level gt while other is a regular level gt so in neat pg 2024 which was conducted in two shifts uh, i was in the second shift and the paper was really hard it was so difficult to even you know complete reading one section in the speculated time it was extremely difficult to you know calm your nerves mark the correct option read the question and then you know be confident with every answer you are marking it was a big big challenge so here with these two set of exams you will understand okay a harsh level paper needs to be attempted in this format an easy paper needs to be attempted in this format accuracy is going to matter a lot in an easy paper you need to be very accurate you need to revisit you need to revise you need to read each and every question properly while in a harder paper you need to understand that how you rule out options is the key because eventually the topics will remain the same but sometimes they are just reaching it in a difficult manner they are just asking the same thing in a more twisted format so by this a uh, format of you know having two gts you will be prepared for any paper that comes your way on the day of exam after giving a gt there are times uh, where you will be so you know stressed that oh my god i am spending an entire day on you know reviewing the gt 
See, giving GTs is a very, very important practice. But you can't spend days and days over reviewing GTs. Do you have the time to do it right now? You really do not. So after you give both of these exams, which are designed for you before NEET PG, you will have cue-based video explanation, wherein in three hours you can simply plug in your earphones and listen to the GT explanation. Understand where is my concept wrong. You know, learn from it, imbibe it, and get it right on the day of the exam. That is what we are aiming at with this practice of cue-based video explanations. You will find it very high yielding. You will realize, okay, I have wrapped up a complete GT, like attempting it and reviewing it in what some six, seven hours, which is very less. And you will still have a good part of day to you know go through the notes of your weak topics, so that you are you know in a better position to attempt the exam on 15th of June. Also through GTs, uh, both of these GTs, we will be asking. PYTs, PYQs, all the important topics which the faculties feel are very high yielding in their respective subjects. So you can't miss on these GTs. They will, you know, test you that okay, these are the probably most important 1920 questions from obstetrics, from surgery, and you need to understand okay, are these 20 topics very clear to me? Am I getting it right or wrong? So. In short, this is a very, very, very high-yielding opportunity. Do not miss on it. All the best for the upcoming exam.